Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with Emperor Benedict the Arctic the Architect slash Hammer of Britannia. Speaking of hammers, just gotta just gotta remind myself of this epic weapon that he had crafted at the end of the last session. Oh it's marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. And he's going to use it in battle because he has decided to complete his empire if we discount that little tiny blob of blue there we need to obtain victory against Wales and so we want to be a part of that history making event so we're going to lead some of the troops the foe hammer will see action it's not a ceremonial weapon. Oh no. So that's going to be uh, the, 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 the focus for today's session. Is, of course, it's at war with Wales. Don't forget Wales are at war with France. And we have once again taken the opportunity to strike them when they are distracted. All in the aid of saving lives, you'll understand. So, uh, um... One other thing that I re realised is, of course, Wales do have a little tiny bit of Jerusalem. So we're going to get that as well, if we are victorious in this war. So, you know, we, we were kind of debating or thinking about at least what we're going to do with this ambitious emperor when we've got Britannia unified. Is he going to sit on his laurels for 20, 30 years? and be content with just being the Emperor of Britannia and not do anything else with his existence? A man that has got so many accolades to his name already? I don't think so. So potentially, with some of de jour Jerusalem already under our control as an Emperor, we might turn our attentions to getting the Kingdom of Jerusalem perhaps under our control. Bring that under our wing, the Holy Land. Wouldn't that be something? Especially if the ruler of the Holy Land currently is a bit useless. He's not too bad. He's a zealous man, so you know we'll keep him. Uh, we'll keep him on our radar. If his heir, for instance, was to turn out to be a cynical little child, then well, the green light would be definitely on. But we'll we'll kind of monitor that. Of course, I also debated about perhaps heading across to Norway. Was a long-term goal of the campaign. Just because they're Catholic doesn't mean it's too late to turn our attentions to trying to bring the kingdom under our empire. So possibilities galore when we, uh, if we, let's not get ahead of ourselves, uh, finish off uh, the entire islands here uh, under our control. So, without further ado, Let's do that first step. Get that under our belt. Then we can forward plan. So uh, the retinue are going to head up to here along with our personal levy. We, not, we shouldn't need to trouble our vassals for this one. So we're not going to. Unless we see any signs of uh, whales coming back to defend their lands. So. Before we do any of that, just one last thing. York, I realise, does need a upgrade to the keep. So that's what we should do. Still pretty good on the old income front. And then we shall raise our personal levy. And we shall send that personal levy here also. And once we're all kind of gathered together and, you know, merged together, then we'll sort the commanders out. But the first step is just to get us all into the same place. So uh, without further ado, we start the time ticking on good old two speed. What else would we start it on? You think I'm going to change our habit of a lifetime now just because we're an emperor? Whack it up to four, five, three speed? Don't be foolish. What kind of madness is this? Uh, right, anyway. So a few little poxy battles to take care of here. Nothing uh, to be overly uh, proud of. Right, our good friend, Duke Ogier of Connacht, who is a commander who we have given... Uh, 
the duchy title too. He's an ambitious fella, but we kind of think that we can keep him on our side. He has brought peace to a troubled country. Fewer crimes are committed and fewer complaints are heard. The peasants have never been happier. He is doing a good job and therefore we praise him for his sense of justice. I mean, look at this guy. He's a crusading hero, a genius. He came down with us unofficially, of course, because we didn't go uh, to, you know, to, the, to Egypt on the crusade. I like this guy. I like this guy. Not to be, I like, he's got his own little staff with a little fancy thing on it. I, I, I really like him. I think he's. I think he's awesome. I, I hope he doesn't turn on us <laughs> uh, when, when he finally uh, gets tired and remember and forgets about the fact that who gave him the duchy title, which is going to happen yeah, in 1089, ten years from now. But I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. Perhaps for his due diligence, we'll throw a few coins his way as well. But anyway, yeah, I like this man. Why aren't you moving, young Matilda? Our daughter has finished her education in diplomacy, and she has excelled. She's become a charismatic negotiator. Let us see how our child has turned out. This fair beauty who's married, or about to be married, to the king of Frisia. Oh, she's cynical. That doesn't go well for the, for the whole charade we're trying to keep, but hey-ho, we are about to become emperor, which is our ultimate goal, so perhaps the old theologian side, the religious sort of side, that front is going to wane slightly now that we have set out to achieve what we wish to achieve. Anything we else anything else we wish to achieve could probably be got without the assistance of the clergy. But uh, she's turned out um, distinctly average really, in the grand scheme of things. Time to marry her off, I think. Yeah. And she promptly leaves our court, which is good. <laughs> we don't want uh, too many cynics around. Uh, right, good. So she's gone off. She's now the queen. At least she should be the queen when the marriage happens. She's wife. She's Matilda. He's the king. Why is she not the queen? What's going on there? I thought she would normally be the queen, surely. Doesn't say, does it? Oh, very bizarre. Well, anyway, do you want an alliance? No. Political concerns. What concerns? What political concerns are you harping on about? What? I'm a, just because I'm an ambitious emperor, you think I'm going to rip everything away from you? How silly. Or not, as the case may be. Right, we'll control. Uh, so this is this is it. This is the age. This is like a. As I said before, it's like a, like some kind of joke. A blind man, an old man, and an emperor walked into a pub. <laughs> right. So yeah. We're, we're, no, we're not. We're not. Uh, emperor should be leading the centre. What's going on? Oh, we're not. Uh, you know, we're not. We're not. We'll lead a flank, it's fine. We'll lead a flank, we're not, just because we're Emperor we don't have to lead the whole damn shebangs. No, what we'll do is we'll have that be the blind man. <laughs> we'll have him be the main the main, the main main uh, commander. He's got this kind of secret power, he doesn't need to see, he can sense everything that's happening. Looks like some kind of strange divine power. And uh, we, we cannot afford to have him not lead the centre for the fear of having God strike us down. So, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll be content with leading a flank for now. <laughs> Deferring to the greater wisdom, the greater martial ability of the blind man of France. It will be fine, people. It will be fine. And so the slow and arduous process of capturing the Kingdom of Wales begins because they've got a fair bit of land, so uh, we're going to probably have to conquer at least a couple of duchies, maybe? Because we're not fighting the army, you see, so we don't get a nice chunk of war score from the army uh, battles. So it's going to be a lot of sieging required here. To my liege, the wise scholar Benedict says, uh, one of my vassals, the Duke of Mercy, no less. He's complaining about a lack of military training. 
Oh no, he's complaining about my commander's lack of military training. And he is offering his services by training my uh, vassal, Mr. Duke of Somerset? No, Wessex? Duke of Wessex, I think it is. Uh, Damiano. Uh, of course, I will owe him a favour. Uh, uh, giving him life of the leader. Oh, he's just trying to leverage me. Do you know what? Uh, what's the worst that could happen? He's got a lot of weight claims. They're all internal, though. Do you know what? Yeah. Having uh, a generous offer. A generous offer. Let's not, let's, not, uh, let's not turn it down. Come on. Good old Demian will be well and more than chuffed. Yeah, so... Uh, good old Wales tied up with France. Probably weakening their uh, their force. Let's see how much war score we get from this. I reckon about four. Nah, six percent. That's my guess. If it is very slow and arduous, we will raise our vassal troops and have them go north and start taking that duchy up here as well. Because there's no one defending it, so we don't need a lot. Just a couple of thousand will do. Oh, and she's finally done it. Duchess the Proud of Ulster, Myrne. She's adopted feudalism, so she's no longer a tribal vassal. She's done it. We released her from prison. Don't do anything silly, we said to her. We're showing some kind of mercy and generosity here. Don't do anything silly. And we and uh, she hasn't. She's actually done something very sensible. She has become a feudal vassal. Would you credit that? Repaying us for our mercy, it seems. We like it. She's also finished building a city. Sit hmm. Hmm. It's amazing what you can do when you, when people have their freedom. Give them a bit of freedom. It could go two ways. It could, it could smack you in the face, or they could they could thrive and flourish for the benefit of you in the long run. And it seems she's done just that. Right, victory. 5%. Okay. I wasn't far off. Not a bad guess. I mean, we could split this army in two, really. 3,300? I mean, they're not exactly very heavily... Uh, what do you call it? You know, heavy garrisoned. Fort level isn't that marvellous. We ain't going to get to use this, ham this faux hammer, are we? Because we're not going to be in field battles. And, uh, you know, sieging out the place. Maybe we'll have to assault a couple. Right. Who can marry? Oh. This is now my other daughter who's marrying the King of Germany, who was the... Oh, it's only 16. Oh, it's the, it's the other guy that was old. Oh, hang on, hang on. Yep, off you go. Arranged marriage. Yes, yes, yes. It's fine. You can marry my daughter. She's fine. Right, so another daughter. So both daughters married to kings. Queen of Frisia. Queen of... Ge oh, there we go. Now it's kicked in. She's got a crown now. Look, bless her. I was going to say. My daughters need crowns. What's going on? Uh, right, special tithe. Lovely, 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 lovely. Has Frieza just turned to part of Germany? No, sorry. it's Jerusalem. There's Frieza. <laughs> right, very good. Where's where's her crown? You're going to get her a crown as well? I bloody hope so. Off of vassalisation. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you imagine? We're going to have to lean on a few people, maybe. Can we get our empire to expand beyond the islands? That's that's that, that's going to be the first task, isn't it? We'll take what we can get. <laughs> any, any sort of nearby duchy titles? Oh, no, he's doing it again. He's doing it again. Oh, and we can't resist. We can't resist. And good old Duke Bjorn of Somerset, who's... Already had one of his hands chopped off. 
He was in a pod against us. He rose up in arms. Did he rise up against us in arms or not? I don't think so, because we couldn't execute him, right? Oh, he did rise. So he could have an execute. He did rise up in arms against us. So, yeah. We just can't help but... F get the occasional urge to do something nasty to him. Once again, all in that rack up. What have we done to him now? Dicking a leg? Plucked out an eye? You see? No, just a, just a slight... Just a slight wounding. Perhaps taking the time to travel to back home. Siege is very... Siege is very dull. Siege is very boring. Nothing to use our great foe hammer on. I'm going back to Leeds. Oh, don't worry, I'll be back soon. Got things to do. I need, I need, I need entertainment. I just need to, you know, mutilate, butcher a few of my prisoners. I'll be back soon. <laughs> Holy hell, what the hell is this? Imprisoned. Oh, there's a lot of those type of messages. Right, what is it? Is it shift or is it control? How do you get rid of the same type of message? Shift. Wow. 17 imprisonment messages. Okay, that's fine. Right, oh, 20%. I think we'll get a tick. Are we getting a ticking war score now? British war for Prince Heward's claim on Wales. Well, that's not too bad, actually, now that we come to think of it. You know what? We'll, we'll stick with just the one army. And we'll keep it as one. It's fine. I always say, he's a patient man. He's a patient man. Doesn't need his M. Doesn't need it now. You get it. When the time is right. Absolute rule in Wessex. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's some bloody messages all of a sudden. Uh, okay. Oh no, Sinucello. Sinucello, my court chaplain, it's fallen, it's dead. Crying shame, he was a good man, he was a lot of things, wasn't he my court physician as well? They always are my court chaplains, aren't they? 15, Eastman of Ilkley, wicked priest, but honest and ambitious. It's not the greatest score here, of learning. But, he's a loyal vassal. Ilkley, it's part of uh, our home our home duchy. We'll have him. We'll have him in. We'll have him in. It's fine. We'll have him in. We want to. We are one to. Uh... What am I eyes seeing here? Excuse me. <laughs> uh, France just seems to have been taken over by Denmark. Valen the France have also lost here, and this is now an independent Valencia duchy. France seems to have just Im just vanished, imploded. Probably means the King of Wales is no longer at war with France. Oh. Oh, he still is attacking. What the hell's happened to France? What the hell's going on? King Acfred the Whisperer of Valencia. He's now the King of Valencia, not France. Did somebody just die? Has he just come to power? I'm confused. King Bernard of Denmark and France. What's happened? Installed by faction demand. The previous guy, Acfred the Whisperer, has conceded his Kingdom of France title by faction demand and instead Duke of Galilee aka wife to the Duchess of Galilee my auntie has now in his own right become the king well he was already the king of Denmark but now also the king of France what okay there you go then <laughs> 
I've, I've, yeah, it's going to take some getting used to seeing uh, France not blue. I mean, uh, it's not going to really affect us that much. It, it, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting because it, it's not blood family, but he's like our uncle, isn't he? Our uncle-in-law, if you will. So you know, it's kind of family, isn't it? Kind of family. And their kids will have Johansson blood, so. Yeah, I like it. I like it. 24%. Oh, God, it's maybe taking a little bit longer than... Should, are we still debating? Shall we split? Shall we not split? Shall we do it? Shall we not do it? Do you know what? How many men can we muster from the Northern Forces? Let's have a look. 429. About Lancaster. 600. That's a thousand men. And if we take Mercia, that's that'll be fourteen hundred. Let's take let's take these guys. Let's take these guys. Let's just uh, take some land up there. We have conceded. Patience. Our patience only has so much limits. As we've seen, because we were impatient enough to leave and torture a prisoner or two. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. And also, also, 27, we're going to split this uh, in half. And we shall take this army and go there. Game. Game. Come on now, don't be silly. Don't be silly. Okay, if, if we get the if we get Britain, boom, united, we get Wales and we die. I mean I won't be very happy with it, because it would be quite nice to try and see if we can do something else. As I said, maybe Jerusalem, maybe Norway. Maybe Denmark. That would be a nice capture. Denmark. If we can try and wangle Vassal Inheritance Law, oh, it's, we've got Vassal Inheritance Law, but if we were to remove Vassal Inheritance Law and then try to do Vassal Inheritance with the King of Denmark so that the heir of that place or the second in line of that place that we would inherit both France and Denmark was to come into power and be landed by us in that age-old trick uh, and we were to use Vassal Inheritance to advantage, we could suddenly become Britannia, which would be here, and we would get Denmark, and we would get Denmark here, and we would get France, of course, and we would also probably get a little bit of... No, we won't get Jerusalem. Uh, now, that would be quite a capture. And it's kind of interesting because... Because... The, the, the heirs will be... Will be will be family, so surely they will be flocking to come to our land. So I mean, my fancy coming along. Where's 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 the um, where? Let me see here. Kingdom of Denmark. Let's have a look. So like heir to the so like line of succession. It's currently uh, her. So she would she would she she can't come across at the minute. But so uh, like this, you there? Would you be interested? No. Okay. Have to work on it. Hmm. Interesting. Right, let me see what's happening here. So what 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 I'll do? Uh, oh, there's Lukacs. Lukacs there can look after that. I'm staying put here with the blind and the old man. Russell Levy's race too long. They've been for two bloody minutes, man. That's fine. Damiano with his new training, his new flat terrain training, put in charge of the force in the north. Another blessed has passed. A Cumberland blessed. Ailfrith of Cumberland. Oh dear. Beatified. Blessed be his name. Blessed won't be our name. If it wasn't for cruel, you know, we might be considered for beatification. But uh, with that cruel streak, even though it's quite well hidden, um, it's going to hinder us. 
It's the only thing that we've not done in this campaign, really, is getting a, getting a beatified a person. We've achieved everything that I've really wanted to achieve here, to be fair. You know, all the successful crusade. I suppose actually getting a, um, a new land as a crusader, you know, either personally or having... Yeah, personally. You'd have to go against the Pope, wouldn't you, for that? But um, that could be that could have been interesting to, you know, capture Crusader Egypt for ourselves or something like that. Um, but yeah, beatification. We were so close with the first ruler, Johan. If it wasn't for him turning drunk for a second time, we'd have had that. I'm almost certain. But then nobody else after that's come close. This guy is probably the closest, to be fair to him. Because he's got his cruel streak, but he's not an evil man, really. He's not a nasty man. It's objective. He's nasty to people who have slighted him. He shows very little mercy or care for people who have offended him or crossed him. But to people who do him well, to people he has no bones about, you know, no issues with, um, he's completely and utterly fair and even generous. He certainly has the best interests of his people at heart, the empire, the, or the kingdom as was, building all those fabulous cities so that more people can live under his, under his, you know, under his rulership. Who are you? Oh, another king, Brittany, wants to Prince Aelstan of Wales. Prince of Wales, Marshal of Brittany. Why do I get the feeling that he's a he's a Johansson or a Dun he's a Dunbar actually? Johansson's or Dunbar's in Wales, isn't it? Mind you, the Johansson line was pretty it's probably pretty watered down right now. We only had one duchy, but uh, she he is a Prince of Wales. He is. It looks like children. The fa oh, he's a father, right, of this guy. Yeah, his dad wants to marry my court. It's only a courtier. Yeah, and get lost. Thirty-two percent. Right, good stuff. So we are besieging three at a time. That should speed things up a, a little bit. Oh, we need to recruit a court physician. In fact, we'll try and recruit again. We'll recruit one by the uh, by the uh, decision menu. See, see who comes our way. And if we don't like them, we'll have to uh, defer it to the to the, uh, to the to the court chaplain. It's not the greatest court chaplain, of course. I mean, fifty is actually not bad. But as an emperor, you know, having not bad isn't quite having the cream of the crop, is it? And we are ill, don't forget. So, you know, having a really good court physician right now would be helpful. Could save us. A most skilled physician resides in a nearby village. Doesn't have any formal schooling. And is a supposedly a raging alcoholic. But he can cure any ailment afflicting them. Okay. Do you know what? Curing any ailment, given that we're ill... It's probably going to be enough for us to take the risk. <laughs> we have a drunken court physician. We'll add it to the list of dodgy characters that we have. A blind man, an old man, an emperor, and a drunken doctor walked into a pub. <laughs> Who's next on this comedic list of characters that we suddenly are developing here? Forty-five percent. Still no sign of Wales. They must still be at war with now the King of Valencia, who can't believe he conceded the entirety of France to faction demand. Won't catch Shenra doing anything like that. 
He'd fight tooth and nail for his kingdom. Tooth and nail. He'd go down in a blaze of glory if necessary. These are probably more prisoner messages. Ooh, some Welsh galleys are returning. 15, 12, 3. Wales are returning. Wales are coming back. We may need to remerge our troops here. Gotta keep an eye on this. 56. Okay, the ship seems to have vanished. For a brief moment, it looked like they were about to, uh, you know, merge. We're going back. Well, we're going to go back to war focus, but uh, it's oh, we can now, can we? Oh no, ten eighty two. is a bit messy at the moment, isn't it? So let's just take a quick sweep around, shall we? Arles doing very well for themselves. Italy perhaps not so much. It's been uh, eaten away by the Byzantines. Should we say to Egypt, how's that cracking on? 7,000 men, still in charge. Alexandria. The Umayyads seem to be struggling a little bit now. You know, the, 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 the Catholics are just beginning to take back a little bit here, push back a touch. And, uh, yeah. He's only down to 7,000 men. At their peak, they were 20 odd thousand, weren't they? It's not going so well for them now. It's a crying shame. So, uh, the forest is not big enough for the barons. They demand hunting rights on the church lands. Ooh, do we, do we say let them hunt on church land? Or stay on your side of the forest? Hmm, now what do we do? The, 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 the kind of charade, the kind of facade. I did say it would probably start to wane. Our barons, our feudal vassals. We'd probably start to prioritise those as our, you know, the men that give us the most, men, you know, that give most troops and, you know, feudal system and all that. It's just a bit of hunting. It's not a big deal. Bishop Eastman, the wicked of Ilkley, I give you a position on my council. Should be grateful. Just let them come on your land every so often. Got to keep those feudal vassals in check, you know. Meanwhile, he continues to do hard work, smoothing things over between me and the Pope. We'll reward him in other ways. Here, be the uh, be the high almoner. Sweeten the deal, you know. The gentle. Such peaceful music, you would almost not realise a war was going on. So soothing. Now, of course, if we could take the uh, Kingdom of Jerusalem somehow, some way, of course, we would get additional little snippets of land. I mean, yeah, 
would look pretty. Having a bit of land there, a bit of land there, a bit of land there, a bit of land there. But if it's good enough for the Jerusalem mites, it'll be good enough for Britannia, all right? But this map is a, a massive mess, isn't it? <laughs> a complete and utter hodgepodge of madness. There we go, 64 and counting. Malnutrition, apparently. Another vast of inheritance warning. I don't think it'll affect us. Still confused about that, because we did lose a little bit of land here when somebody got made a king or a duke over here. So I think it might still affect us in some certain ways, but not quite so sure how... Knights of Sardinia. What are they doing here? They're not uh, going to be... Oh, it's no, they can't. They are a holy order. They won't fight against me. Maybe the King of... Uh, I think maybe the King of Wales has hired them for their fight against uh, the anti-pope. Anti-papal anti war. Keeping York complete. Our half brother needs to get a move on and capture this. Why, you know? Surely, as King of Scotland, that would that would that would tick you off a bit. Surely, be like, I'm going to give you two chances here to bend the knee, and if not, I'm going to take it by force. I'm not bending the knee. Right then, you leave me with no choice. Okay, we wake up and feel tired again. Perhaps I need to go to prayer meditation. No, we don't. Prayer meditation is not the way. All right? It's all right. You can stop the act now, Benedict. It's done. It's done. Oh, 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 oh. Is this a white piece or a full piece? He loses a hundred prestige. We still gain the Kingdom of Wales title. Kind of makes me think it's actually a full-blown piece. That, but why would he? Why would he concede off a piece? Let's just let's just compare. A white piece would be I lose a bit of prestige. He loses a bit of prestige. No, I lose prestige, he gains prestige. And my Prince of Wales loses prestige. Enforced demands is he loses 100 prestige and Prince Hereward gains the Kingdom of Wales title, which is what it says here. So he's actually... He's, he, 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 is, he is surrendering. Full surrender. At 85% war score. I've not seen that for quite a while and surrendering prematurely. But uh, hey ho, perhaps he just wants to wash his hands of Wales. You know what? I came into this kingdom title as a young boy, as a young man, and uh, have it. I'm just, I oh, can't deal with it. Can't deal with it. Maybe he's seen the lie. But whichever way you look at it, he has surrendered, and therefore we get what we want. Ha 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 ha! Look at that! Look at that! So we have a vassal king of Wales who does want to be on our council and may be on our council as our spy master in fact. Mr. Doncaster uh, Mayor, do apologise, you've got to make way for a king. Such is life. Um, we win the war. So let's pause it. Just let it tick over for a second and then pause it and see what our handiwork has gotten us. Disband the troops. Disband the troops, but not the retinue. Merge the retinue back into Leeds. 
And let's see. So here he is. Where is he? He's there. We give him a little bit of England's pie. Very small piece. Gloucester. To get the job done. To push the wheat clay or the claim. To allow him to become our vassal. When he uh, uh, takes the kingdom title. So he has all the lands of the former king. Including, I'm assuming, a little bit of Jerusalem, which is now part of the Empire of Britannia, no less. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Well then. So let's have a look at what he thinks of us. Pressed his claim, granted him a county. All the rest of it. We're obviously a very good man. He likes our relics. Minerva, Justitia, Clementia. We're a strong ruler. All very good, really. All very good. Somebody spread vicious rumours about us, though. What vicious, what, what, what vicious rumours could anybody possibly want to spread about us? Something to do with torturing prisoners. How ludicrous. Flipping ludicrous. Right, we can create the Duchy of Puise. Well, that's not for us to do. He's the king. If he wants to create titles in his own realm, let him do it. Uh, that's not for us to get uh, het up about. We can now pick an ambition. An ambition of uh, seeing the realm prosper for five years. For an ambitious man, it feels kind of restrictive, that. Who knows when we might need to go to war at the drop of a hat. When we figure out what we might want to do next. So uh, I think what we're going to actually do here is it is January. It is a good place to end the session. So we have done it. Almost. There is a slight little blue blob here. It is irking the Emperor. So we may have to impress upon our half-brother to get his bloody finger out and get this sorted. Or else we might have to do something about it ourselves, you know, like murder the man, for instance, and have his predecessor uh, bend the knee or, you know, whatever. Uh, but yes, he's done it, pretty much. He has become Emperor of Britannia and he has united, kind of, the, uh, the islands. In addition to being a crusading hero, a builder, a hammer, a purger of heresy much beloved by the clergy uh, and whatever else he's done uh, you know the titles just roll off the tongue now he's, he's another fedora in this guy isn't he another fedora only his tales are true <laughs> so uh, yes what let me know in the comments it's time for our emperor to replan and repurpose for an ambitious man is not going to sit on his laurels for too long and be content with just creating this empire here his new focus is going to be expanding this empire. But where do we expand and how might we choose to do it? Norway? Jerusalem? Should we turn our sights to, to, to a bit of the French pie? Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to upload the game save at this point. So that you might want to dip in and be able to provide a bit more insight into some of the things that the Emperor might want to do next. But yeah... A new chapter is now ready to be started. Because this, as far as Benedict is concerned, is only the beginning. He wants to... I think he's already up there in contention, if not already won, in my opinion. Uh, the, the title of the greatest Johansson. But he wants to make sure that there's no debates when he's finished. And so more work needs to be done. Hopefully, you might be able to shape that. So join me in the next session. Maybe a stream, may not be. Depends on how I feel. And we'll, uh, we'll continue on with good old Benedict, the Emperor of Britannia. Till then, see you soon.